India took two significant steps towards a greener future this week. On Tuesday, the country's largest power generator, NTPC, announced the commissioning of India's first green hydrogen blending project. Under the project, the public sector company has started blending green hydrogen with piped natural gas or PNG in Surat. And the second and much bigger push came from the centre the next day. The union cabinet sanctioned Rs 19,744 crore rupees towards the National Green Hydrogen Mission. The incentive came about 16 months after Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the National Hydrogen Mission on Independence Day of 2021. India is now among a handful of countries to have put the money on the table for green hydrogen. It has joined the global race to produce and export green hydrogen. Unlike coal or methane, better known as natural gas, hydrogen is abundant on Earth. Water, plants and all living beings like humans and animals contain hydrogen atoms. Since water is abundant, hydrogen can be easily obtained from it too. Hydrogen is an invisible gas, but different colours are associated with its production. The colour indicates the source or process of hydrogen production. Take grey hydrogen for example. This is the most common method of obtaining hydrogen at present. Grey hydrogen is obtained from natural gas. This leads to the release of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide as byproducts. Then there is black or brown hydrogen. Hydrogen obtained from black coal or brown coal, better known as lignite, is referred to as black or brown hydrogen, respectively. In the hydrogen spectrum, black and brown hydrogen are the most environmentally damaging. Green hydrogen is obtained from water. To produce green hydrogen, electricity from renewable sources such as solar or wind is used for electrolysis. This leads to the release of hydrogen from water, and this hydrogen is called green hydrogen. There are no greenhouse emissions in the process of creating green hydrogen. This green approach to producing hydrogen is good for sustainability, but it drives up costs. Additionally, only a handful of Indian companies manufacture electrolyzers, which are used to generate green hydrogen. According to the Energy and Resources Institute, green hydrogen production costs rupees 5 to 6 dollars per kilogram. This makes it too expensive for industries like steel, fertilizers, and long range shipping to adopt. For a broader adoption, green hydrogen prices need to come down to at least $2 per kg. Reliance Chairman Mukesh Ambani has proposed that India should aim to bring down prices to $1 per kg. But this price reduction will only be possible if we start manufacturing electrolyzers in India on a much larger scale. With the centre coming out with the National Green Hydrogen Mission and allotting about 20,000 crore rupees towards it, things are likely to fall in line. Broad contours of the fund allotment are now in public. Much will depend on how this policy is implemented and how the hydrogen production cost is brought down. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views, and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and LinkedIn.